Yo, what's up? Dr. Swole here, MD, pro physique athlete. Today I'll be sharing a full four day hypertrophy program designed for women using the upper lower split. This is a glute specialization program. When trying to prioritize the glutes, the upper lower split works particularly well as you'll see here. This program is set with moderate volumes and will work well for people of most experienced levels. For the guys watching this, make sure you share this with the women in your life. It'll put you in the good books. We'll start off with a program walkthrough where I'll share everything you'll need to know to run the program yourself, including exercises, sets, and reps. Then we'll talk about the weekly setup or how I prefer to lay out the workouts across the week. And finally, we'll talk about the pros and cons of this glute-focused women's four-day upper lower program. All right, let's do our program walkthrough. This is Dr. Swole's women's four day upper lower program. It's set with moderate volumes designed for people of various experience levels. We have lower body day one, upper body day one, lower body day two, and upper body day two. Here are the exercises and here are the sets and reps. Down here we have the total number of sets for each workout so you have an idea of workout length. And down here we have the total number of weekly sets for each muscle group. Here we have quads, glutes, hamstrings, chest, back, side delts, biceps, triceps, and caps. And you'll see here that I've separated glutes and hamstrings for the purposes of counting for this program because we are particularly interested in the glutes. You'll notice that in my other programs, I often lump these muscle groups together just for convenience sake. And you'll see from the sets per week that this program heavily favors the glutes as we intended. So starting off with lower body day one, we kick it off with squats for the quads, three sets of six to 10. After that, we have Romanian deadlifts for the glutes and hamstrings, three sets of six to 10, followed by Bulgarian split squats, which I count for quads and glutes, three sets of eight to 12. Next, we have leg extensions for the quads, three sets of 10 to 15, followed by single leg dumbbell calf raises for the calves, three sets of eight to 12. We finish off the workout with machine abduction for the glutes, two sets of 12 to 20. I've placed machine abductions at the end. These are relatively lower priority movement, but abduction of the hip particularly has some application in growing your gluteus medius and gluteus minimus muscles. Next, we have upper body day one, and we start out with barbell hip thrust for the glutes, three sets of six to 10. And here you'll see I've modified the upper lower split by taking some of our glute work off of lower body day onto upper body day. This actually serves a few major functions. It evens out workout lengths and fatigue distribution, and also allows us to jack up the volume for our glute training. We'll talk more about this modification in the pros and cons. Next, we have dumbbell bench press for the chest, four sets of six to 10, followed by single arm dumbbell rows for the back, five sets of eight to 12. One mistake I see a lot of women making is not going for your heavy compound movements for the upper body. Unless you have outlier genetics or you're taking performance enhancing drugs, you're not gonna get super bulky with your upper body training normally and you really want to be pushing for progressive overload in order to make progress. Next, we have cable press downs for the triceps, three sets of 10 to 15, and you can superset these on the cable stack with cable lateral raises for the side delts, three sets of eight to 12. Then we have lying dumbbell curls for the biceps, three sets of eight to 12, and these are like incline curls except you lie flat on a horizontal bench. Finally, we have some dumbbell lateral raises also for the side delts, three sets of 10 to 15. Next, we have lower body day two, and we start off with sumo deadlifts for the glutes and hamstrings, three sets of six to 10. I particularly like a sumo stance for the deadlifts over a conventional stance, because this will be more hip dominant and get more glute engagement. Then we have Smith Machine sumo squats for the quads and glutes, three sets of eight to 12. For these, I want you to focus on having a wide stance, which will again favor the glutes. And this is one particularly nice aspect of the Smith Machine where it can allow you to do some more fancy variations. Next, we have dumbbell walking lunges for the quads and glutes, three sets of eight to 12. You'll see that lunge type movements feature strongly in this program, and I think they're great for giving you a big stretch on the glutes. Next, we have leg curls for the hamstrings, three sets of 10 to 15, followed by leg press calf raises for the calves, three sets of 10 to 15, and finally, cable hip abduction for the glutes, two sets of 12 to 20. Lastly, let's move on to upper body day two. We start with barbell hip thrust again for the glutes, three sets of 10 to 15. I specifically chose hip thrust to move off of lower body day onto upper body day because of a few things. First of all, putting it first in the workout gives this movement priority. And since it's the only lower body movement of the day, you can really focus on it. Particularly, I really like hip thrust for glute activation. So I like giving them some focus. Now, when you start having high frequency for a certain muscle group, as you'll notice, we're training glutes four times per week, you might worry about overlapping soreness. And that's another reason why I specifically chose hip thrusts because they tend not to create as much muscle damage. Hip thrusts place the most stress on your glutes at the top of the movement. And exercises like this typically don't make you as sore. So choosing hip thrusts to move off of lower body day will be a bit more advantageous in terms of the overlapping soreness aspect. 
Next we have dumbbell overhead press, two sets of eight to 12, followed by lat pull downs for the back, five sets of 10 to 15. Then we have incline dumbbell bench press for the chest, four sets of eight to 12, easy bar skull crushers for the triceps, three sets of eight to 12, and then some cable work, cable curls for the biceps, three sets of 10 to 15, and cable lateral raises for the side delts, four sets of 10 to 15. I'll point out that this program features exercises from the four main categories of glute movements. Your squat type movements, which includes lunge type variations, your hip hinges like deadlift variations, your hip thrusts, and abduction movements. This will really make sure that your glutes are being properly trained in all aspects. Next, you'll notice that this program is built around squat, hip thrust, and deadlift. These are going to be your main movements of the program and I want you to make sure that you're progressing in weight on these. You'll see that when I repeat exercises, for example, hip thrusts, I do change up the rep ranges. This can help a little bit with fatigue distribution, but might also help in strength development. As you'll see later, these two workouts come back to back, so it's also nice having our lighter hip thrust day come after a leg day. For more free hypertrophy programs and top-notch science-based fitness advice, make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. Okay, now that you've seen the program, let's talk about my preferred weekly layout. We start off with lower body day one rest, upper body day one, rest, lower two, upper two, and rest. You'll see this program is laid out slightly differently than my other upper lower splits. I typically have upper body days coming before lower body days when they come back to back, but in this program, you'll see that we lead with lower body day. And this is because we really want to prioritize the lower body, particularly the glutes. The idea with a more generic upper lower split is that if you have a really tough leg day, it could impact your performance on your upper body day coming afterwards. However, in this program, we really want to focus on the lower body here, and I am placing the upper body secondary to that. So if you find that your upper body training is suffering a little bit, and if you wanted a bit more of an even prioritization, you could switch up the order here. Next, I designed this program to have upper two and lower two come back to back rather than upper body day one and lower body day one. And you'll see that reflected in how my lighter hip thrust day out of the two comes on upper body day two so that your heavy hip thrust won't be as impacted. Next, you'll notice that we try and spread our rest days out as evenly as possible. And this is to maximize fatigue distribution. Fatigue distribution is basically how you spread out your training stress across the week, and you ideally want it to be as homogenous as possible. In other words, we're basically making the most out of our rest days. So I would prefer this setup where things are spread out more rather than having upper body day one and lower body day one come back to back, and then the second segment also coming back to back. But the upper lower split is very flexible, so you could shuffle days around quite easily here. There is a little bit more cross talk here since I've placed hip thrusts on upper body days, but as we talked about earlier, hip thrusts tend not to make you too sore, so it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Okay, now let's talk about the pros and cons of this women's four day upper lower hypertrophy program. Starting off with the pros, this program has a strong glute emphasis, which you've definitely figured out by now. We achieve this specialization of the glutes through frequency and volume. As I mentioned earlier, we split up our glute training to move some of it off of lower body day onto our upper body days. This is a modification to the traditional upper lower split. This effectively gives us a four times per week frequency for glute training. The main way I like to view higher frequency is that it serves as a vehicle for more productive volume. This way, we were able to pack in more sets for the glutes across the week while keeping them productive. If you tried to put hip thrusts on the same day as your squat, deadlift, and lunge tape variations, you're less likely to perform as productively on them. When you give them their own separate day, you'll be coming into them relatively fresh, and you'll perform better in terms of more weight and more reps. Next, as you saw, this program is very high volume for the glutes. Increasing your weekly set volume for a certain muscle group is probably the first step you want to take when trying to specialize that body part. Note that this is assuming that your muscle is able to recover from that amount of volume, but the glutes are a big muscle group and they tend to do well with high volumes, so I think this will work well for most people. Next, this modified upper lower split has good fatigue distribution. The fatigue distribution is even better with my modification of taking hip thrusts off of lower body day onto upper body day, because typically your lower body days are going to be significantly more difficult. And if you're also trying to specialize lower body, you'll find that leg days are even tougher. So this helps to even out the stress. I'll note here that the upper lower split is particularly well designed for favoring the lower body. When you split up your body into upper and lower body days, the lower body day is naturally favored because there's more muscle groups to train in your upper body. So if you're keeping your workouts approximately the same length, you wouldn't be able to pack in as much muscle group set volume for each of your upper body muscles. But in this program, since we're favoring the lower body anyways, this leans naturally into the upper lower split. Lastly, this program gives priority to hip thrusts, which I think are a key movement in glute development. 
By moving these off of your lower body days, you can really focus on them when you're relatively fresh. And I've put hip thrusts in twice per week, so you can really focus on getting those numbers up. Okay, now let's talk about the cons of this four day glute focused program. First of all, this program has less priority for the upper body. And this is a consequence of us giving such priority to the glutes. One of the disadvantages of the upper lower split is it naturally gives less priority to the upper body. If you run it in the traditional fashion, upper body day and lower body day, and if you don't make any modifications, you will tend to have long upper body days and it'll be difficult to pack in enough volume for all your upper body muscle groups. This is actually exacerbated in this program since I've moved hip thrusts off of lower body day onto upper body day. This effectively displaces even more space for the upper body. So you'll see that our upper body training volumes are relatively low. If you find you're not getting enough volume for your upper body, feel free to add in more sets. Next, in this program, we have arm training coming after pushing and pulling movements. Particularly, I mean triceps coming after chest training and biceps coming after back training. But this is one of the intrinsic disadvantages of the traditional upper lower split, where your arm training comes after your major compound pushing and pulling. The idea here is that your triceps get trained indirectly in your pushing chest movements, and your biceps get trained indirectly through your back pulling movements. If your small muscle groups are already fatigued by heavy training in your compound movements, they may not perform as well for their direct training volume. However, this actually isn't really a problem in this program since our upper body training volumes are relatively low. For example, since you're only doing four or five sets of chest and back training in the workout before your arm training comes in, your biceps and triceps shouldn't be too fatigued. Now we'll be sharing this full program as an Excel file in my Facebook group. So if you haven't joined the group already, find the link in the description below, join the group and you can download the program for free. If you're trying to lose weight or achieve body recomposition, which is building muscle and losing fat at the same time, check out my book, Dr. Swole's Fat Loss and Body Recomposition Manual. In this book, I walk you through the A to Z of optimal nutrition for hypertrophy and show you how to get rid of that stubborn fat. If you want to see another women's glute focused program, check out this video where I walk you through a full three day full body hypertrophy program. The full body split works particularly well for three days per week. And you'll see how I've worked in glute specialization into that split. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.